everybody, Max Rich here. And that was the beginning of Ricky Don't Lose That Number by Steely Dan. And you know, the one thing about Steely Dan music is that uh, they're just such good songs. They're so well crafted. And that's um, an interesting uh, sort of a hallmark of uh, how well a song is written and how well it's crafted is how easily it transfers from one instrument to another. You know, even though it may be written on electric guitar, can it play? Can it be played just as well and be just as emotionally effective on acoustic guitar? That type of an idea. And Steely Dan songs are a perfect example of this. And the reason they are is because of a, a, an awesome combination of good harmony, excellent rhythm, and impeccable melody. And today's lesson is going to be sort of about those three topics. We're going to talk about, in context of this song, we're going to talk about the chords, we're going to talk about the rhythm uh, that make up the chords and sort of how to go about playing them effectively on acoustic guitar, and whether you're singing or playing the melody, we're going to talk about the melody itself. I'm going to teach you how to play it on guitar like I did at least the little snippet of it just now with a looper pedal. Um, and that's a really, really good way, even if you're going to sing the melody, it's good to know how to play it because let's say you're singing and you're playing the chords and it's like time for like you know, maybe a little instrumental break, maybe a little guitar solo or something. What, what is really effective is being able to quote from the melody. And if you know how to sing it, but you don't know how to play it, that's not so effective, especially if it's like time for a little lead guitar lick and you want to do something that relates to the melody. Well, it's good to know how to play it. So we're going to cover all of those bases and a little bit more than that coming up right now. 